and welcome inside Leafs TV, keeping you in the loop as the Marlins return home on Saturday to play their third game in as many days following seven straight on the road. After scoring five goals in the first period on Thursday en route to a 6-2 win, the Marlies dropped their Friday contest, managing only a single goal four. While the night carried with it a loss on the scoreboard, it also brought a loss on the blue line as Drew Paris did not return after being banged up early. No timeline yet on his expected return. On a positive note though, Matt Fratton's goal is his third in two games as his line with Joe Colburn and Marcel Mueller continue to pick up them now scoring seven goals in the past four outings. For Rochester, the team has seen better days having lost their past two and collecting victories in only three of their past nine games. Leading goal scorers Derek Whitmore and Marcus Foligno have seen their offense apparently dry up as they've managed only three goals and five points over that nine game span. Neither of them reaching the score sheet on Friday as the Americans were blanked for nothing. The Marlies Friday night game now, I bring you to the third period as Mike Zigamana sacrifices his body to help out Mark Obuya. Take a look. LeBlanc out of the corner with a wrister, blocked by Zigamanis. Now to the point for St. Denis, stopped by Zigaman in front. Now to Callahan, Bulldogs keep it alive to do more, and again a block from Zigamanis. Mike Zigamanis with three big blocks keeps it away from Mark Obuya. Equally as effective in both ends of the ice when Mike Zigamanis isn't jumping in front of speeding bullets in the defensive zone, he's leading the team with 39 points. Despite the loss on Friday, Twitter was still buzzing with your thoughts and comments. I liked what Amanda had to say when she tweeted, While I'm sad that the Toronto Marlies lost today, I'm glad that Bratton and Lee spoiled the Bulldogs shutout. And Patricia, who's quickly becoming one of the most recognizable voices on Twitter during a Marlies game day, kept things in perspective when she tweeted, Dogs own the yard tonight, but Marley still own first place and hashtag it Let's Go Marley's and Classic Rivalry. Saturday's game will be the final for the Marley's ahead of the All-Star break. Toronto is proudly sending both Ryan Hamilton and coach Dallas Aikens to Atlantic City for the festivities. After being nominated to the Western Conference team, the Marley's captain had this to say when speaking with John Abbott. Well, it's definitely something special. Um, you know, I've been in the league now for, I don't even know, five years, six years. So, uh, no, it's a real honour. Um, yeah, it's just an awesome experience. Uh, you know, I pretty much owe it all to my teammates. You know, it's just a special opportunity, and uh, you know, it's just it's great to be part of it. Although not yet confirmed, it is likely that Ben Scrivens will start in goal for the Toronto Marlies. Scrivens has won three of his past four starts and allowed only seven goals against over that four-game span. 200 feet down ice, Rochester will likely go with David Leggio. Tune into all the action starting at three on Rogers TV and AHL Live. Hit me up on Twitter at Chancellor Just. Don't make me jump in front of any pucks. And tag all your Marlies chatter on Twitter with Let's Go Marlies. Remember, for full game highlights and player interviews, check out marlies.ca.